Oh, man. Somebody asked me to tell him a Bernie Mac story, too. This was uh, one comedian he bombed uh, in Chicago. You know, he, he worked the comedy circuit. It's just one of them bad nights where he wasn't that good. And, I mean, nothing he said was jumping at all. And, lo and behold, Bernie wasn't even working that night. And when he was bombing, and people was just quiet, like, and then the heckler was had better jokes than him. Bernie just took took the mic. All right, hey, hey, everybody, I'm gonna tell you what that. Shoot, that came up in here. We're, we're all black. I started to wear some some blue contact lens. I done messed y'all up, boy. You know you're black when you can put fingerprints on charcoal. <laughs> Let me tell you. And Bernie just started going to work, man. And when Bernie started going to work, he had everybody die laughing. You couldn't stop laughing. When you go to a fast food restaurant, why they ask you stupid questions? Do you need a straw? Do you need a nap? Mother, you know I done paid all the money for this dog on food. What do you mean I need a nap? <laughs> do I need a straw? <laughs> Is this what they teaching the kids today? <laughs> we need to start beating them. Because I'll have a deal. <laughs> I'll give him a cut right to the jaw. <laughs> I don't care if he can't find him. <laughs> oh, man. Bernie, Bernie would turn a whole crowd into a whole show. The week before he died, when they was filming Soul Man, right before they wrapped the movie, and this ended up being like a week before he passed, or maybe like it was the last stand up he ever did. In between takes, while they was getting ready, he was on stage, just killing it. They want to stand up for the people. For free. Just right there. Just doing comedy. Making people laugh. That's what people going to miss about Bernie. Bernie is natural comedy. He's what you call a comedian. Okay. There's a, there's a difference. Like you'll see a lot of these people. Who tell jokes. They have good comedic timing. But they're not comedians. And you'll see a lot of these guys in movies. They're like real funny people. Like uh, you'll see Steve Carell. You know and uh, all these other people who have never really. You'll be surprised. They never really did like stand up. And you'll be like wow. Y'all you're comedians. Like no he just has good comedic timing. But he's not a comedian. He didn't work the underground comic circuit. They came in as actors. And they didn't make it in action roles or anything else. They started putting them in comedies. So the comedians were getting pushed out and they were just writing the jokes. While the actors were actually being the co the comedians. You know, Zach Efron. <laughs> For example. You know. And <clears throat> this was ticking off the comedians. You know, they're like, look, we can do this. You know, we, we don't want to be off the screen. We can hold our own on the screen, too. <clears throat> and Bernie was one of those dudes. You know, they wouldn't give Bernie a show. Bernie, you know what? They won't give me no show, don't you? <laughs> they, they're afraid I'm going to say something. <laughs> so, when he had the Bernie Mac show, he, he showed he can do a show with no curse. They just think Bernie just going to curse all on the show. <laughs> The script was so funny when he written it out, but a lot of people didn't like it. Like, man, we used to Bernie being Bernie, man. Oh, he was still Bernie. He was funny. I mean, you want to do that? Pay and see him do stand up, <laughs> cause you gonna get your money's worth with Bernie. But that's what you gonna miss about Bernie, man. He had a big, very big heart. He, this city loved Bernie Mac, the Mac man.
He just lit everybody up. When you talk about Black Jack, <laughs> they don't want a black man doing nothing. They might as well call it White Jack. <laughs> he had Matt Damon on the floor with that for some reason. I don't know why Matt Damon couldn't even breathe. <laughs> he, they, he said that line, Matt Damon just hit the floor. He just couldn't even breathe. It was all red. Bernie had made so many friends in Hollywood, man, but it was just like. I felt more should have came out for them, and they would have had they been in more projects or like, you know, had they had time. By, by the funeral being in Chicago, one, a lot of them one don't make the trip, but the people that did, like real people like George Clooney, I'm telling you, Clooney is the realest dude out there. Like, don't think George Clooney is just super Hollywood. He's not. <laughs> You'll see Clooney at the rib shack. Hi. Did you like George? Yeah. Well, I had to make a stop here. Heard the ribs are unbelievable. <laughs> you like, man, it's, it's my guy. <laughs> it's Clooney. He hung out with Triple Six Mafia, kicked it with them. And everybody else is ignoring them, treating them, giving them the hi hat. He went over there and kicked it with him. That's Clooney. Clooney can get in anywhere. <laughs> so and that's why Blue Brothers love Clooney. He got a pass. <laughs> I, can't, I ain't got a pass in certain places. Clooney got it. But yeah. He came there and showed love to Bernie, man. So... Yeah, we always miss Bernie, man, but uh, that's it. I just wanted to do that for that fan. The one fan that asked me about Bernie. I'm out.